So that was exploring the fiery furnace in Arches National Park. Uh, this one has been on my list for a couple of years to do, actually. Um, and you do need to get a permit to do fiery furnace, which is this permit that they give you to uh, carry with you on your hike. A ranger could come by and check to make sure that you have it. Uh, the permit does cost ten dollars. You reserve it online, and then you just go into the main visitor center at Arches National Park at the entrance and. Uh, they give you a permit you have to watch like a video about the fiery furnace and that's it you can kind of go explore it it is located in a pretty sensitive desert environment yeah there was a lot of cryptobiotic soil on the ground so they're pretty serious about you you know not walking on any of that because it takes decades to regrow um so mostly they just want you to walk just in sandy washes and on sandstone rock so you are allowed to kind of wander where you want as long as you follow those rules and stay out of the areas where you're not supposed to be walking otherwise very cool experience. I spent a few hours in the fiery furnace from uh, mid-afternoon all the way till basically till sunset, because that's when you're allowed to be there, sunrise to sunset. I fact, almost every official trail in Arches at this point. Fiery furnace is probably the coolest 
thing I've done in the park and was well worth the current price of $10. I ended up doing it in late February because I know once spring comes around, it's going to get really busy and be hard to get a permit. So it was really easy for me to get a permit. There was plenty of availability uh, in late February. If you guys did enjoy the video and want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel down below. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.